One of the biggest cuts to the state budget is in education. And there's two different parts to the cuts in education. One is a $1.6 billion cut, and I'll explain that in a second. And the second part is an expansion of taxpayer-funded vouchers uh, in Milwaukee, Racine, and in Green Bay. Uh, let's start with the $1.6 billion cut. There was a direct cut in school aid of $750 million and an additional $800 plus million in reduced levy. So for our overall cut going to K-12 education of a whopping $1.6 billion dollars, and that's billion with a B. Uh, that's the big cut. In addition to that big cut, they've also uh, reduced funding for things like local school transportation services. They've reduced funding for advanced placement programs. They've reduced funding for alcohol and drug services. They've reduced funding for STEM, which is all about science, technology, engineering, and math. Uh, there's a lot of cuts, uh, both in general funding to education and specific programs. They're going to have uh, big impacts. That probably means you're going to have larger class sizes, uh, you're going to have fewer offerings and it's going to be a lot tougher for school districts across the state of Wisconsin. Uh, the second large change they did in education is specifically to the taxpayer funded voucher program. Uh, the program exclusively has been in the Milwaukee area, how now it's been expanded into Racine and potentially into Green Bay. Uh, they've also doubled the income limit for people to get vouchers, taxpayer funded vouchers to go to private schools. So now wealthier families are going to be able to take advantage of a program that was designed for poor children and instead it's going to be taken advantage of by uh, wealthy families throughout Milwaukee. So those are a couple of the highlights of the education area. It's one of the biggest losers in this budget and uh, we need to do everything we can to stop a budget that's going to hurt uh, the middle class families across the state. Uh, look tomorrow for more information.